Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do the maintenance on a UJF. Uh, this is a UJF 3042 Mark II EX, but this is the same for all of the UJF Mark II range. So, first of all, um, we're going to talk about PPE. So, when we're doing this sort of maintenance on these machines, you always want to use your safety glasses. Um, obviously, we're using solvent cleaners and things like that, so we don't want to get any of that in our eyes. We also want to use um, our gloves as well. Not only is it safe, it also makes it easier because then you can just take them off and you don't have to, to wash your hands too much as well. So that's great, so we've got those two. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go onto our menu on our UGF and then we're going to find our maintenance on here. So, we we'll go over to menu, we're going to go down to maintenance, into station, and then we've got a few different ones in here, but I'm going to go into carriage out. So what that will do now is it will bring the carriage out to our left hand side of our machine. So it's now on the other side of the machine and it's saying on the screen it says carriage out completed. So it wants us to do this process as quickly as possible because obviously we don't want to leave it like this um, in this state for too long because the heads will start drying out. Also with the UV printer it's very important not to get any um, UV light into the printer because obviously that can cure the ink on the actual heads themselves. So you'll hear the printer's beeping at us and it's telling us to basically hurry up. So I'm going to lift this cover up here. There we go. I'm then going to lift my side cover. I'm going to drop this cover down here as well. If you can't drop the cover, all you need to do is remove the two screws and you'll be able to drop that. There you go. And that opens up our capping side of our printer. I'm then going to do the same on this side. There we go. And you'll see the print head. So, what we need to do now is we need to get our clean liquid. This is the clean liquid that we use for the uh, the Mamaki UCJV. So this is the um, the F200 or LF200 washing liquid. There's the part code there. So it's SPC0568, and it is only this type of cleaning liquid that you want to use for this machine. So you don't want to use any other sort of clean liquids. You don't want to use any sort of uh, solvent clean liquids. It has to be this type. So then I'm going to get a clean swab. So we use a swab like this, and this is basically a, uh, a felt tipped swab. There we go, if it focuses. And with, the, um, with this sort of swab, it doesn't leave any residue behind on the caps. Um, it's really important that we don't use like cotton wool buds or anything like that. Also, it's important that we, we don't reuse these swabs. So use different swabs every time you're doing this process. So just going to open my liquid. Tip it in, and then I'm just going to remove. So I'm just removing as much as I can off the edge. So it's difficult to do when you're filming. So we don't want this completely soaking. Um, obviously, we don't want it to drip on the, the machine as well. So then, all we're going to do is we're going to go around the outsides of our caps. And I can use the same swab for each. But obviously if the swab starts to get really dirty, but just throw it away. Get a new swab and throw it away. You'll see I'm doing the white last, and that's because that is by far the dirtiest one. And what we're doing is we're removing any ink contamination from the uh, from the, the actual cap itself. So this is these caps actually seal to the print heads, and if there's loads of ink around it, then it's not going to seal around to the cap um, to the print head and then you're going to start getting air in and that's when you're going to start losing nozzles all the time. So once we've done that, I'm then going to go over to this bit. This is our wiper blade. As you can see, my swab's gone very dirty, so I'm going to throw that one away. I'm going to get a new one. Dip her in. So we're going to remove any of the dirt from the wiper blade as well. And we're going to do the same with the rear wiper blade. Always important to make sure you pay a bit of attention to that one. If you do flick it up, just flick it back down again. There we go. So that's the cap inside actually done. So that's all you need to do on that side of the machine. So again, I'm going to throw this swab away. 
I'm going to get a new one, and it is important at this stage we do get a new one because we're now going to have a look at our print heads. So, again, just dip that in there, remove as much as I can. So now we're on our print head side of our machine. You should be able to see the print heads up there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to clean around the outsides of my print heads just really carefully top bottom and then the sides there you go so that's that side done as well so again just throw that swab away now all I need to do is just need to put these covers back up drop that one down again same on this side and then just need to drop my cover here and then I'm going to press my enter button here to say that I've completed it what you'll notice now is that the the print head will start coming over there you go the bed starts moving as well and you see the print head comes over very slowly and that's just to avoid anything uh, if it's been left on the bed while you've been doing your maintenance. There we go. So now it's just finishing off the process. start to hear the actual printer cleaning off normally takes a bit of time and there you go so it's now gone back to our maintenance menu on here just going to press end end again end again I'll bring my table back out and that puts me into my, my main menu. So at this point, what you would want to do is you want to do a test print. You'll also probably want to do a clean as well. So you've got your test print cleaning button here. You want to do test print and maybe a clean. Just like a soft clean or a normal clean. Um, then do your test print. Just make sure everything's okay. Your test print should look a little bit like this one here. One of these here. And what you'll notice is what you're looking to, to avoid is these nozzles missing on the inside here. So that's when you'd want to do a clean to get rid of them to make sure they come back better. And then the last thing that we always want to make sure we're doing when we're doing our maintenance is we want to make sure that we're emptying our waste bottle. So down here we open up our little door, take our waste bottle out and then we remove this waste. The one thing to remember, as you can see from our waste bottle on this machine, is that um, there's a little lip on the top of our waste bottle which makes it very difficult to pour out of, so um, just be careful when you're pouring out of that. It goes back in, literally just slides in and it will go up and slides back. So just pull on it, make sure it's not going to come out again, and then shut your door back. And there you go. So that's how to do your maintenance on your UGF Mark II machine from the Mackie.